Greetings, clinical educators, and welcome to the UNC Charlotte Cato College of Education Professional Development Series. This first module will focus on some required documentation that you, the CE, will be responsible for. There are six total items to discuss. But before we dig into these documents, let me explain the whole professional development process with this section titled, Getting Started. This PD series has four total videos for you to view with vital information for the clinical educator to know in order to support you during this semester. Each video will also have some viewable links to important documents discussed. We ask that you view those as well, especially for this first module. When you finish viewing the documents and the videos, there's a simple survey share questionnaire to complete. There is also an important e-signature document and some financial paperwork to fill out in order to receive your honorarium. Speaking of honorarium, let's start there as this is the first of our six required documents. This honorarium is a monetary reward that you'll receive for participating with one of our student teaching candidates. The honorarium directions come with two forms that you may need to complete. The first form is a vendor information form, and the areas that you need to fill out are clearly marked. You will also need to fill out one of these, a direct deposit authorization slip, because this is the only way that we can pay you. All right, back to those directions for completion. You'll find the contact person and where to send these forms when you complete them. We ask for this during the first two weeks of the semester in order to process this payment as quickly as possible. Another time-sensitive document for CEs to complete is the confidentiality statement, which we've converted into an e-signature document in order to quickly collect and securely store. This document is completed by the CE or CEs that will be working with the student teaching candidates. The form and your signature on it indicates that you understand the privacy laws that apply to you and your candidate during this upcoming semester. Thanks for completing this and also abiding by these policies. Okay, let's move on to our next two forms that come directly from the STAR 2018 Evaluation Tool and deal with the assessing of your student teaching candidate as the semester progresses. First up is the OFF, or Observation Feedback Form. This will be used to document actual scheduled formal observation notes. This next form is the observation signature page, and it'll be used to show evidence that all parties involved have read and understand the notes from the STAR tool and the observations as they take place. If you have questions about these two documents, don't worry. They will be discussed in greater detail in a video dedicated to the STAR 2018 evaluation tool. For now, we want you to know that they are official documents and they will be collected. Okay, so that's four down and two to go. We've had two to start this semester, two that happens as the semester progresses, and now we have two that will be part of the semester completion, but can and should be referred to along the way. This document, the CTC, or Certificate for Teaching Capacity, is the summative recording of the student progress on the North Carolina State Standards for Student Teachers. Essentially, this document will recommend the candidate for a teaching license. All parties involved in the process, including a school site administrator, will sign this document to verify standards were met. It should also be noted that this document has a midterm version, and it should be used to prioritize areas of need at the midpoint for the candidate. Finally, CEs and university supervisors will individually complete a form known as the Professional Dispositions. This document addresses six areas that we at UNC Charlotte intend for our candidates to meet or exceed expectations. These observable categories are as follows. Impact, professional identity and continuous growth, leadership, advocacy, collaboration, and ethics. This form is usually completed at the end of the semester and then it's collected by the candidate's university supervisor. However, if any of these areas becomes a concern, do not hesitate to address with both the candidate and the university supervisor at any point during the semester. Okay, this concludes the required documents for clinical educators video module. 
So now let's take a look at your next steps. So what's next? We ask that you please do the honorarium paperwork and the confidentiality form immediately. Then view any of the other three videos in any order you'd like. But don't forget, there's a SurveyShare questionnaire after you've completed them all. Remember, the SurveyShare questionnaire is how we'll know that you've completed the professional development series and then we can process your honorarium. Thanks again for being a clinical educator and I'll see you soon in an upcoming video module.